Good morning, everybody. Happy day 17 of Vlogmas and happy anniversary to Charlie and I. It's our second year wedding anniversary. So we're very excited for what we'll be doing today. There has been a slight change of plans uh, due to the weather. So Charlie had booked something originally, then we were having a conversation um, a couple days ago and something that I had said um, triggered Charlie to book this other event. So we were gonna do that instead, but they um, they posted on their Instagram saying that the event has been canceled due to weather. So we'll be reverting back to the original plan. But if you're wondering why I keep referring to the plans and just not saying what it is it's because i don't know so last year i planned everything and we decided each year we'll each take turns planning our anniversary so this year charlie has planned it so i have no idea what is in store for us uh, but i'm very very excited and just excited to spend the day with charlie honestly um we definitely need some much needed uh, alone time it's just been go 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 with the holidays work everything so It'll be nice to have the day to ourselves. I did want to show the amazing gifts that Charlie got me. So my shirt, it says, it's all gravy, baby. So I say that all the time, and it's because of this gentleman right here, Mr. Young Gravy himself. So if you guys are not familiar with Young Gravy, he's kind of like a parody rapper in a sense, but... He's just a vibe, man. Like, check this dude out. He he really just gives no Fs at all, does whatever he wants. Um, and I, I love that mentality. I, I just love that, you know, these artists, rappers, actors, whatever, um, whenever they really do not care about the the public and their perception and they just live for themselves that really speaks to me because i feel we're so sometimes wrapped up or involved with you know what what are others going to think of me or should i do this or should i not do that or whatever the case is but just live your lives guys do whatever makes you happy at the end of the day if that's one little thing or one piece of advice that I would have to give you guys, just be carefree, do whatever you want and live the life that you want to live. Um, I did also want to show you guys the vinyl itself. So it's like this baby blue color. I love it. This is probably one of the coolest vinyls that we own. Um, I would probably say second one is the Midnight's one because it's, like it's like a bluish color as well. Um, the rest of our vinyls are just kind of like a regular black color. Um, I think maybe Taylor Swift red might be red. Not 100% sure, don't hold me to that. But but yeah, so just wanted to show you guys the gifts that Charlie got me and just let you know that we're really excited for today. And obviously we're gonna take you guys along with us, so we'll show you what we have in store. Good morning, guys. So I know David already filled you in that our plans changed, so we were supposed to go to a brewery and do yoga with goats. And so like they're little mini goats and they would jump on your back and like you can cuddle with them and stuff. And then it includes like a drink in the brewery as well. So we were meant to do that. And then I checked their Instagram before we were supposed to leave and they canceled it. But it said that we were supposed to have got an email yesterday saying like that it was canceled and I still haven't got anything. So it's a good job I checked their Instagram, otherwise we would have turned up and it wouldn't have even been on. And it's like kind of far away from us. So a little bit disappointed but because i only found this a few days ago i did have another plan already prior to that which i scrapped for the goat yoga so instead we're reverting back to original plan a which is not as good but i'm sure today will still be amazing because as long as we're together that's all that matters we had a brilliant night last night at the party um my nails didn't make it but i just <laughs> reattached them but yeah feeling it a little bit this morning oh my gosh i've glued the camera to my finger what? the camera is glued to my finger <laughs> <laughs> no i'm not <laughs> oh it actually hurts 
Which one? <laughs> the one that stuck Wait. to it. Ow! Stop. Oh! Guys. Ow, oh, that really hurt. So I guess I glued my nails back on and I glued myself to the camera. So, cool. Great start to the day. Ow, that really hurt. You can't see, but it like left a mark. So David got me the coolest gift. So I should just go upstairs and show you it. I'll show you it later. But it's like a glass thing with, a, with the picture of us in front of the house. And then it's like the Spotify, like how a song looks when you play it on Spotify. It's that and it says, here comes the sun because that's the song that we walked down the aisle back down the aisle after we got married together and it has our wedding date on and it's so sweet i love it so much i'll show you it later on so activity number one was brunch a champagne holiday brunch i didn't even know we were coming at new york beer project and they have a jazz band playing which is part really of the classy. reason why we came and then you get a free glass of champagne with your entree and that is how we're starting the day. Don't know why this is so blurry. There we go. And it's all decorated for Christmas. And the Chiefs are playing the Patriots. Okay, I got the Upper East Side burger, which is burger, cheese, tomato, avocado, bacon, and fries. And David got the breakfast tacos, but he added sausage on them. They look really, really good. Hey guys, so we just got back from our activity for the day and I completely forgot to take any video clips or anything. So what we did was we went to a, a pottery painting studio and so you go in and they have all the different pieces of pottery that you can pick from and then the prices on the bottom of them and then you paint them. It has to go in like a kiln and like be fired and so basically we went in, we picked our pieces. I picked a Christmas tree, it was like about this big. And David picked a bowl and it was like a knit, a knitted bowl, like knitwear bowl. And then we painted them and it was really, really fun. We were really surprised at how long it took us because we got there about 3.30 and we just got home and it's 6.30 and it's only 15 minutes away. Um, so it did take us quite a few hours to do it, but it was so fun. So much fun, so therapeutic, and just something like really different that we've never done before. And David was really thrilled with it. Like when we walked in, he was like, oh my God, this is so cool. They also have like, you can build your own mosaic and um, they have, uh, they also have clay as well. So you can make your own things out of clay, but that one requires like multiple sessions. So anyway, we did that. I will insert some pictures here because I did take a picture of like our finished, finished product. But then they have to go and be fired, so we pick them up in about two weeks. But I'm really excited to see the finished product. And now we've just got home, but I have to quickly get changed because in 15 minutes we're leaving for dinner. David does not know where we're going for dinner yet, but I do because I planned it. And I'm really excited to go there. So I will take you along with us to this. I'm so sorry. And I can take you around and show you what we have for dinner and everything like that. So we'll touch base for you in a second when we are ready for dinner. So we have arrived at our restaurant. It is Prosa Mexico. Prosa Mexicano in the Swan and Dolphin. It's a new restaurant, so we've never been to it, but Swan and Dolphin is where we met, and we ate here last year for our anniversary, but in the Italian restaurant, so I wanted to keep the tradition going on. But they just brought us over some chips and salsa, and we're having a look through the menu now. We're really excited to be here. Was it a good surprise? Yeah. yeah? You're pleased with it? Very pleased. Okay, I good. Mexican food. And the Swan and Dolphin. <laughs> Drinks just arrived. So this is the mango chile margarita. So a very spicy drink for me. And David got a regular paloma. I'm surprised you got that because I thought you didn't really like palomas. I do. Oh, you do? Oh, well, cheers. Yeah. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. To start, we got the black bean and cheese empanadas. So it brings four of them and we're gonna share them. 
Our server just came over and he said to celebrate our anniversary we can pick a dessert for free. How nice is that? I'd written it on the open table but I didn't think that they would read it. So that was really nice. Okay, so these are the birria tacos. So they are quite small. So just note that, that they are a little bit small, but we did get a side of Mexican fried rice, which is huge. And it looks side. so <laughs> good. Yeah, like that's a main dish for sure. So it's fried rice, bacon, chorizo, sweet corn, fried egg. Cilantro, I think, on the top. Yeah. Beans. Looks so good. David also got the queso, the birria queso taco. So let's dig in. So this is the complimentary dessert that our server kind of gave us. We chose the tres leches and I'm very excited to dig into that. It looks so good. David is ready. Okay, if anybody was interested, this behind this door right here is where David and I met for the first time ever. This is the recreation office. It looks different, but this is where we first met and David was trying to date my manager. <laughs> and then he saw me and he changed his mind. <laughs> but that is actually where we first met. How does it make you feel? Makes me feel very lucky to have met you. Yeah. Aww. I still remember the exact moment that I met him and I text in our big group chat with all the people that are on my program and I was like, oh my God, I just met David Perez and he is so fit, which means hot in English. In English? In English. In English English, not American English. <laughs> the lobby is possibly the reason why this hotel is my favorite hotel in the entire world. And because it's Christmas, they light up the lights red and green. But is this not the most beautiful? lobby you've ever seen in your entire life and this is their Christmas tree this has been the same since I worked here for you it used to be white didn't it <laughs> David doesn't know he doesn't really remember much of those days <laughs> and they have the little lights wrapped as well for Christmas very pretty and here it is, our old stomping grounds. This is where I worked for an entire year and where David worked for, how long did you? Oh, he's gone, he's disappeared. Where did he go? How long did you work here for? Three years. Three years? Two years. Two years? I thought it was longer than that. Just a little over two years. There it is. Christmas Day 2015. And this is how you get into the back office, but it does have a passcode, so you can't do it. That's new, isn't it? The boarding passes? Yeah, that's new. So when you enter the resort, you go in the revolving door and they have Christmas trees inside the revolving door, which they've always done this. But also when you come in, they have Christmas trees here too. And they have this little red and green. And fun fact, when I worked here, this entrance was completely different. But while I was here, they like renovated it and made it this. And they've got poinsettias everywhere. This truly is the most gorgeous resort. I will not take any other answer. <laughs> no, but seriously, let me know in the comments what your favorite Disney resort is. I consider the Swan Dolphin a Disney resort, even though it's technically Marriott. They also have lots of different things that you can do with Santa near the Swan Pool. And they've always called it Santa's favorite resort. And you know what? It's also Charlie's favorite resort. Hey guys, we are back home. Just took all my makeup off and did my skincare. And now we're going to watch a movie. So David's gonna pick it out the jar. We're gonna do a Christmas movie. So he's going to pick that out of the jar now because it's his turn. And then we're gonna stick that on before we go to bed because David does have to get up early for work tomorrow. I technically get up at the same time anyway, but I could have a lay in if I wanted to. But we had a really good night. I love being back at the Swan and Dolphin. Like it just, to me that feels like home. David, he didn't have a great experience when he worked there. Like he did not love it as much as I did. And so he doesn't have the same sort of sentimental attachments. He does obviously 
that we met there and that's like how we know each other and all of that stuff so obviously he does extent but i just love the hotel in general like i love everything about it but yes really enjoyed all the food and the service at the restaurant was excellent we both said we were really happy we tried it and like had a really good experience there but probably wouldn't be in a rush to go back whereas like shoeless steakhouse at the dolphin and il molino's the italian restaurant at the swan like we would go there all the time if we could they're just a bit pricier and this was on like the more reasonable side um it was really good though i think we gave the mexican rice an 8.5 was that right or an 8.7 the mexican rice 8.7 and then we gave the black bean and cheese empanadas an 8.2 something like that and then the birria tacos a seven and the dessert the dessert was really good but it wasn't like authentic tres leches because the cake wasn't moist it just had like the milk around the side of it but it was still really good and it was so nice that he gave us that that he gave us that for free and then we walked around for a little bit and saw all the christmas decorations and now we are home so i'm gonna show david opening what movie we're gonna watch and then i'll do the dog's advent calendars and then we're gonna call it a night because david has to get up early so give it a little shake shakey shake what are we watching tonight the santa claus, the santa claus? Mm -hmm. Who wants their advent calendars? Nolly does. Brady, you want yours? Come here then. Okay, good girl, Nala. Say, Merry Christmas. Good girl. Brady, come here. Merry Christmas. All right, everybody, that is all for tonight. This one was a short one, but we just wanted to soak in as much time as we could together and just enjoy our anniversary the two of us but we will see you tomorrow for day 18 i can't believe in one week's time one week today we'll have finished vlogmas time flies literally time actually flies and december always goes so fast which is really sad because it's one of my favorite months of the entire year i also love january because that's my birthday and february because that's david's birthday but christmas time in general is my favorite time of the year and it always goes the fastest but anyway i hope you enjoyed today's vlog and i will see you tomorrow for the next one Bye for now